Hi, I'm Randy. And I'm Zach. Today we're going to take a look at the Brasilia Mini Classic. Brasilia has been around for over 30 years. Uh, in 1977, they made their first machine. And then again in 1985, they followed up with the first fully automatic machine. Um, because they've been around so long, they put a lot of time and effort into their machines, and it really shows in the end result. Um, here we have the old edition of the Mini Classic. This is just here for uh, purposes, for the display purposes, to show you the insides. The um, only difference you'll see is the logo the placement. Plate. That's right, on the front of the machine. Randy, why don't you give us a look into the, this machine? As you can see, this comes with a highly polished stainless steel body on the machine, uh, water uh, wand, and I'll, I'll pull some extra, pull some water for you, show you how nice that comes out of there. Comes with the uh, E61 Brew Group. That is the thermal siphon system, so there is hot water circulating through there. Um, very good for maintaining heat stability. Uh, steam wand. Pull some, show you the, how, how the pressure coming out of the steam wand. Also on the front of the machine, you're going to notice that there is dual toggle switches. To your left is your main power switch. You'll notice that it does have a light for the backlit light, which means it's on. You have the other one here, which controls the heating element. You'll notice that it was heating a minute ago, that light was on. Now that it's at the temperature, it is off. Below that, we have another light here, which actually turns on when the water is being pushed into the boiler. Also comes with two gauges, mm -hmm. steam, uh, steam gauge and uh, a brew gauge. Yep. Nice thing too is a lever machine. Um, you have your off position, your second position, which releases a little bit of water on the grounds, and then all the way up, which actually brews. You do have the manual three-way valve. Yep. Um, spits it right into the drip tray. Nice thing too that you're going to notice about this machine is that it comes with a it a, a height adjustment. So it removes, so it accommodates a larger or smaller cup. It uh, just a, Feet clicks in, larger cup, or a smaller cup, put that in, there you have that. It is a stainless steel drip tray, removes, easy cleaning, does have the hole for the <coughs> excess water. Put this in. Okay, Zach, we're going to brew out some shots and make a latte. Show you how the whole process works. Just grinding out some coffee. Tamping the shots. Okay, we're going to put it up to the middle to pre-infuse it. And we're going to brew our shots. And because it's a heat exchanger system, you can actually do both at the same time. Okay, we're actually going to steam our milk as soon as we shut our shots off. going to do in the beginning is just surf the top of the milk which creates the foam and then when it gets up to lukewarm temperature we're going to just turn the pot to the side and roll the milk. With this machine it actually is going to come with two extra tips. From Brasilia itself it's going to come with a four hole tip. For this Randy is using the three hole tip but we here at Whole Latte Love are including a Rancilio three hole tip and an Equal Bar single hole tip. What that does lets you play around with the uh, different tips and find which one's going to work best for your needs. Yeah, I, I really like the, the three-hole tip that's uh, included with the uh, Pilates, including with it, with the Rancilio tip. Okay, our milk is done. Just pour our shot into our cup. Work the milk a little bit. You can see it does a really, really nice job of making the microphone. There you have it. 
All right, now that we have showed you what the machine can do, let's take a look at the internals. Uh, there's a passive cup warmer on top. This removes. Nice thing is, is you can actually fill your water reservoir through this hole, or you can actually remove the entire thing out to fill it that way. Yeah, and here's your fill tube. It comes with a, a big particle filter on the end. And the other is the return line from the OPV valve. That's correct. You do have your water reservoir, 90 ounces, has the float in there where the electrical sensor will show you in a second. When it does, you run out of water, it actually kills the heating element, turns it off so that you're not going to have your heating element out with no water in the boiler. You'll see that is right here. It's a sensor. Yep. Also on the internal, what's unique about this machine is the G Rossi control. And what that does is <clears throat> it monitors the water level in the boiler and it, it sends less than a half an amp to the pressure stat, so there's no electrical arcing, and it actually dramatically increases the life of the pressure stat. Also an OPV valve. Yep, you do have your high limit. The high limit's here, mm -hmm. and the pressure stats are. Yep, it is nice, too, that the oh. internal is all copper boiling, um, or excuse me, <laughs> copper tubing. tubing. That's correct. And then you do see here you have the line going to your E61 brew group. Um, the actual boiler of the machine is a 1.2 liter nickel plated copper boiler. So that's the internals. This goes slides right back down. There you have it. That was the in-depth look at the Brazilian Mini Classic. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. I'm Zach. I'm Randy. And thanks for joining us. Thanks.